Welcome to the Fitness Oracle Daily Show. I am your host, John Katsavos. And today is Friday. Thank God it's Friday. And we're going to be talking about why I, me, am such a slave to my depression. Um, now, this is going to be a very vulnerable um, episode, but I want to make sure that people understand that even though it may seem like I am out of my depressive state, um, it's not something that I'm completely out of. And I want you to understand that you are never going to really be out of depression, but you'll have the tools as you move along in life to battle this. Now, I remember back in, um, it was back in October. It was close towards the end of October, middle of October. Um, I was in a very bad place. Uh, and, um, you know, just starting off with my business, uh, in-house business here in South Florida, and, you know, just starting out with everything, it's it's hard because, you know, you're not going to get the clientele that you want. You're not going to be making the money that you want. You're going to be uh, looking for ways and to make money somewhere so you could pay the rent, pay the lights, pay the, pay the water, get food on the table. These are some essentials. Gas in the car so you can go from place to place. And when you don't have money coming in, that's, you start questioning yourself. You start telling yourself things that are not true. And um, there's this like creeping sensation in the background saying, you're not good enough. You're not good enough. Why should people trust you? Why should people listen to you? Why should people follow your advice? You're not good enough. You're still depressed. Why are you still preaching all this, all this thing? You, sh you should be ashamed of yourself. And it, it it's it's always there. It always has been. And it always will be there. No matter how hard I try to, uh, quote unquote, beat depression, because, you know, this is what we do. We destroy depression. We beat it. We beat it. We get out of it. It's all bullshit. It's all bull. Every single bit of it. You cannot get rid of it. It's there for life. Everybody has it. It's a different levels and different states and different levels of awareness that you have in how do I, this is coming back into my life. How do I deal with it? Do I have the tools in order for me to, you know, utilize to get out of it? And we went through this entire month so far with different tips and different tricks in order for you to get out of it, whether it comes to food, rest and recovery, even exercise. We've gone through all of this stuff. I'm not going to go through it all because through over it all again, because it's going to take me another three weeks to get to, to do it. You guys can go back into the episodes and uh, find out for yourself. But yeah, you're never out of depression. I don't care who you are. I don't care who you are. You just, you're, you just know it's, there's this creeping sensation of it lingering somewhere in the back and you know, it's going to come. But what you do have are new weapons to use so you can get out of it quicker than before. Touching back on the beginning of October or the middle of October, where I was, I was feeling that. I was feeling that, you know, with, with all that stuff that was going on. And um, to be honest with you, I wasn't sure whether or not I wanted to continue this line of work. I would, it was all questionable. But I am going to be going forward, and I'm going to be adding more stuff to it because I love this. Absolutely love this. The feeling that I had only lasted for five hours. I started to feel bad about what about who I am, where I was in life, and, you know, mid-40s, and you know, 
in a new country, have to, having to start over for the third time and third or fourth time in my life. And, you know, not knowing whether or not I'm going to be seeing a paycheck. Uh, I can't even live paycheck to paycheck. It's tough. It's really tough. At this point in life, men my age have grandkids. I don't have any of that. I don't think I'll ever see my grandkids. I don't think I'll ever have kids. And that's another thing that kicks in. And that's another thing that kicks in that really plays a real mind on me. And that's another layer that I have to be aware of that when it does come in, what do I do in order for me not to fall too deep into this? There are tricks that I have that I utilize. You might be hearing them in the background, two little disturbers that I always surround myself when I feel like that. But I have little tricks like that. Like when I feel really down, I'll go to the gym, get a good heavy workout, come back. I feel great. We talked about this this week. Or if I'm not scheduled to go for, uh, for, a, heavy, for a workout, um, I'll go treat myself to something. You know, there's, there's always this, there's always um, something bad's going to happen to me. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to add something good to my life. I'll go for a drive to the beach. Luckily, it's Florida, and it's in November, and I can actually go to the beach. So it's just this understanding that it's not a specific period of time, but it's a lifelong battle. And when you have these tools that you can pick and choose and say, I'm going to take this tool, and I'm going to put this tool inside of me today because I feel like crap. That's what you're trying to figure out. And I have my tools and I share my tools. I share more tools with some of the programs that I, online programs that I have to help people, you know, set your day, set your day on a good foot so that the rest of the day can go good. Set your evening good so you can have a good rest period and then rinse and repeat the next day. There's specific tools, tips and tricks that you can utilize. For example, one of my one of my weekly Wednesday challenges for myself was to go to stop watching TV half an hour before I go to bed, read a book. I've been doing that every single day. I feel great. I feel better. So you see what I mean? It's just these little tricks that you can just whoop, oh, this is this is coming in. Oh, let me just this positive, this negative thoughts coming in. Well, let me put it in with this positive action. So this negative thing just fizzles away and just goes back and just goes back into the um, waiting area for it to come back. Cause I know it's going to come back. I didn't destroy it. I'm not going, I'm not here to beat depression or destroy depression or find an answer to, to men's, to removing men's mental health and depression forever. This is a this is something that you got to deal with on a daily basis. All I all I'm doing, all I'm offering is offering you solutions and tools that you can use that when it does come, okay, pick this tool, use it and you'll see how fast away that negative thought went. That's what I'm doing right now. I have a whole bunch of tools in my tool chest that when that negative emotion that negative experience comes i just go into that toolbox grab something put it inside my head and it just fizzles away back into the waiting area until it comes again then i'll pick something else you're not kind of tricking it you can't really trick it but it's just it's just on the sense of um understanding what you have and utilizing it to your best ability and know that it is at your best ability. So that's basically it, guys. That's that's basically what I do, uh, especially when it comes to, and and you are, and it's okay to be a slave to depression. 
it's a part of life. Yeah, I don't. I, I didn't want to use the word slave to depression, but it's the best way to explain th uh, this concept, this topic, because we technically are. We're a slave to our emotions. We can't really. You can control them to a point, but you have to understand how you're going to react to it and use the tools that you have available to control it so it doesn't get out of hand. Tomorrow, tomorrow I'm going to be wrapping up the week, and I'm going to be giving you my biggest takeaway of the week. So as always, I want to thank you all for watching this episode. I really hope that you enjoyed it. Please, if you're watching this on YouTube or Rumble, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, and share this episode. If you are listening to this on iTunes, Spotify, Google Podcasts, Breaker, iHeartRadio, or whatever streaming service you are using, please give us a five-star rating and a positive review as it will help us reach out to more people that are suffering from mental health issues. Before you go, I'd like to invite you to keep the conversation going by signing up to your free account at Pod Inbox. Over the years, we have discovered that in order for us to achieve the greatness that we're destined for, we can't do it alone. So in order for you to find your place back in this world, we have come across this amazing tool called Pod Inbox, where we can get together and discuss this topic even further. All you have to do is click on the link in the show notes and sign up for your free account and find out for yourself how powerful community really is. Until tomorrow, you guys have an awesome day.